This is my little steam engine. There's my thumb, so it'll let you give you an idea of the size. And uh, I can show it, you it working, not on steam. Uh, what I have, this is a, a little pump. It came with a medical cushion that uh, my wife had and cost 300 bucks for a rubber cushion with a little I mean ridiculous but it was medical oh boy anyway what I'm doing is I'm putting that on so now I've got a source of air and uh, as long as I can try not to rock this bloody camera there we go I think I think okay yeah now, I'll try to get it out of the way. Now, I'm just putting a little, little bit of air. You may look, wonder what this handle is here. Well, it's reversing. And when you see it, it turns these are in one way 30 degrees from the horizontal downwards and in the other direction they're 30 degrees upwards and so let me show you there and if, I don't know if you can see how which way yes you see it's now going looking in this direction it's going counterclockwise okay now change it and it will go clockwise go slowly, there we go clockwise it will go quite well it will go like anything on a oh, five pounds of pressure but I'll, I'll, I can just make it go if I blow into that tube but I'm not going to do it now I'll try and make it go slowly You can see the the action. To give you An idea of put okay there we go and it's going counterclockwise looking in that direction now I change it and you can see how the these little sliders not the camera there these little sliders change direction and here we go the other way okay I'll show you just a few bits about it these are the two cylinders and steam or air comes in here and it exhausts there. This is a steam chest which contains in these underneath little valves. I'm not going to open it up, takes too long. But uh, but that's all the valves. Now I'll, I'll show you these tubular things uh, keep the piston rod straight when it's pushing down the connecting rod to the crank shaft um, otherwise there'd be side movements on it and they're called cross heads or cross head guides then on the crank I'm just having difficulty here it's difficult to see let me see if I can point it out well I can't really but the 
there is a central little flywheel and then the crankshafts the uh, the actual cranks are set at 90 degrees to one another so with two cylinders itself starting and on the outside of each you see here is a eccentric which is driving a sort of connecting rod to these sliders and the sliders in turn make these little connecting rods uh, work the valves but uh, anyway that's my little engine uh, that's the flywheel that's looking at the other side you can get a better idea of the let me see if I'll turn it you well I'll leave it this way you probably see you can see how yeah now you can see the eccentrics and uh, but a, but a, a simple design and uh, fun to make fun to draw and oh fun <laughs> to make well watch it running and uh, anyway and fun to make a little video of it but anyway that's my little offering and uh, I hope you liked it